Hello, we tried doing this backseat critique thing. I just got out of seeing Your Name, the most recent film from director Makoto Shinkai, who also did Voices of a Distant Star, plays Promise in Our Early Days, Garden of Words, um, five some centimeters per second, among other things in no particular chronological order. This was in a heck of a movie. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers here, because it is currently still, as of this recording, in second-run theaters. It's supposed to get a DVD release from Funimation soonish. Um, so, if you're familiar with Shinkai's work, if you've seen, like, Voices of a Distant Star, you are probably familiar with the recurring themes of his stuff. Um, love separated by time and years. Um... Or the time and year, same thing. Time and distance, very putting it. Um, and this is definitely the theme here. Um, the film is sort of a body swap story. The main characters are... Um, normally when I do these at home, I'm, I have a look at IMDb, but being I'm recording on my phone, I can't really do this. It's a boy and a girl... Guy is living in metropolitan Tokyo, attending a metropolitan high school, that sort of thing. Gal is living in rural Japan, and her family has inherited the shrine. Um, her mother, who was part of the line which took care of the shrine, passed away, and she and her younger sister are living with their grandmother. And the two... When they go to sleep, not regularly, but off and on, body swap. And they're living each other's lives. She wants to leave. She's been wanting to leave this, um, the country and come to, to Tokyo. He's in love with landscapes and that sort of thing. And through body swapping, they get to know each other's lives and they put their spins and influences on each other's lives. And they kind of sort of fall for each other. I mean, again, this is Shinkai's thing. Love separated by, in the case, distance. And things happen when they try to get in touch with each other. And it's complicated. I don't want to spoil it, because, again, the movie is still in second-run theaters, so you still have a chance to see it. But things happen. And the link gets broken and they try to reform, and the, he tries to reform the link again, and so forth and so on. So, not to go to further the plot, the plot is excellently done, has very strong emotional punch. Again, this is Shinkai's thing. This is what he does. It's all he does! Um, not actually all he does. Kind of all he does. Um, nothing wrong with that, though. Like saying all that Tarantino does is really good dialogue. There's nothing wrong with him doing really good dialogue. So, with Shinkai's work, Shinkai's films have always had really, really good landscapes, and they've just gotten better and better for as far as backdrops and everything else. Like, people make a thing about how Shinkai is the next Miyazaki, and from terms of subject matter, it's absolutely not the case. They do totally different films. Star narrative rise, but my god, the Shinkai's films have the best landscapes. Like, Studio Ghibli needs to look at what the people doing landscapes and backdrops for um, Shinkai's films are, 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 look at those people, and bring them in to train their guys. Because Shinkai's everything for backdrops, from Metropolitan Tokyo to rural Japan are just fantastic. The only studio I've seen that comes close right now, you know, just sheer gorgeous quality, is UFO Table with like what they've been doing with the Fate franchise, with Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works, and even with their metropolitan landscapes in Garden of Sinners. They are fantastic and Shukai's work films from Garden of Words and this are just raw scenery porn. So, excellent there. So, um, active performance performances are admitting that I don't speak Japanese natively, so I 
can't cover that part, feel really strong and resonant. Um, again, Shinkai's films have a really strong emotional punch, and this film absolutely has that. Music is excellently done. It uses the opening theme song for a really strong Lee motif going throughout the film for the um, relationship between our two leads. And again, that, that, that's something which I don't see as often in Japanese animation, particularly for a using the melody of a song that's used in the opening credits and bringing that up throughout the, throughout the film. So excellent thing there. Um, so with all of that, well, I think you can pretty much clearly guess, get what I feel about this film. You should absolutely see it again. It is still, it is in second run theaters in Portland where I am. Um, and it may be also in second run theaters in near where you are as well. So check the second, so find your second run theaters in your area. In Portland, it's the Laurel, the one in question is the Laurelhurst. Um, wherever you are, you shouldn't be too hard to find. Check to see if they're showing this film. It is worth your time. Like Laurelhurst, it's three bucks and it's playing for at least the most part way through in the next week. I don't know if it's playing the week after that see this film. Um, Funimation's also having a DVD and Blu-ray release coming up some point, not too sure when. Um, this is a film that certainly merits the Blu-ray purchase for the sheer quality of the visuals. And that pretty much covers it. Um, it is actually, it is very hot outside right now, so I'm going to head home into air conditioning. Thank you very much for watching this video, and... Next time I see a movie, I will try to do one of these and see how these turn out. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to be notified when new videos come out. If there's something in particular you'd like to see me cover or just want to get your name in the credits or otherwise help the show, please support my Patreon. Once again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.